Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. I am so excited. You have no idea because I think life is how we take it. You know, there is a uh, there is a saying that they say disappointments either drive us or destroy us. So it's like having a relationship, a new relationship and going to a new place is exactly the same thing. So I wonder, have you ever experienced a disappointment or something that has gone bad at that time and a while later you turn around and look back and you say if it wasn't because of that experience or that moment or that person I would not be where I am today so welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa if you don't know me by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant. And every week on Tuesdays at noon, I come live so we can talk about some things that are about your health, wealth, um, mostly mind-body connection and healing. That's why the name of my business is Heal Within. So it's this connection of how we connect how our mind, our thoughts, our ideas, and concepts make such a big impact in what we do. You know, I wrote this the other day as I was going through, and it's like, what is it that we focus on? As you know, whatever you focus on is what you create or manifest or bring on or add it, right? And uh, when you focus on something, um, way, the way we do it, we focus on our thoughts are controlled by our values and our values are co controlled by our belief system. So the meaning of the things are that it's controlled by our belief system. Sometimes it's a BS, but it's your BS. Nobody else's. Yes. And it's like, what am I going to focus on? Let me give you an example. For the last two and a half months, I've been searching and looking for an office space. And I have found it. Yes, after 18 years, we are moving. Just this move, I was talking to my colleague and he's just like, <gasps> it's exciting. And yet it's so nostalgic because we're not going to be together every year. Oh my God, we've been together in the same office. We're not uh, practicing the same thing, but in the same office, energy and everything, eight years, almost eight and a half years. And it's been a great relationship. So... When something clicks, when something is right, it's like a sponge, right? You squeeze it and all you know, good juice comes out of it. So now going to a new place, it's going to be me and my staff and my assistant and a new place. And that's it. The unknown can be so exciting, and yet you can turn it into something that is dreadful. It's how you approach things, how you manifest what it is that you concentrate on. So, what does it mean, and what am I going to do with it? So, when we think about... If you want to be in a relationship and you're going on a dating... It doesn't have to be for you to write exactly what it is that this person has to look like, be the color, the height, this and that, because that's impossible, right? But what is the meat of it is what kind of a person do I want to be with? 
and why do I want this kind of a person in my life? Which brings me back to my clientele. What is it that you want? I ask this question all the time. If you want to become a non-smoker, why? And what is it that you want? I want to become a non-smoker. Why? I want to drop weight. Why? When we have what is it that I want and why do I want what I want, everything else becomes easy. And I mean it. So I had a client. I got the most beautiful testimonial uh, just today. And I can read it for you. Actually, I think she would be okay if I read this testimonial. Let me see. Where is it? Just this morning. She sent it to me. And I responded by saying, thank you. It was, it was really a beautiful testimonial. Um, bear with me because I just wanted you to see this. It says, Good morning, Lisa. Thank you. I love this affirmation because every, when you sign up with a package with me, like a few sessions, you get not only um, a full session with me, a session is approximately 75 to 90 minutes. I'm not a 55 minute because, you know, it takes a while, even though I can do a rapid hypnosis and rapid induction, most of my sessions are, you come in, we go over what has occurred a week ago and what we talked about, how have you been, what are your wins, what have your challenges been for the week. So about 15 minutes of catching up to what your thoughts are, what your feelings are, and where you are in, in a scope of 1 to 10 since last week. And so we have this measurement. Without measurement, we wouldn't know where we are in life. And it's for business, it's for health, it's for wealth, for everything in your life, right? Say yes. If, it's a, if, if you agree, just say yes or put number one. Just go ahead, say yes or put number one, and let's have a dialogue. So the next thing is, after we that, it's like, okay, where do we want to go next? How far we have come? And then I take them into a state of hypnosis, to a state of relaxation. And that's where not only we do the hypnosis, but the therapy part, it could be suggestions one day or having a dialogue in hypnosis. That's why it's called hypnotherapy. It's doing therapy in a state of deep relaxation. So I can tap into their subconscious mind and evoke what was so they can become present with what is and the embrace of it in order to evolve to what it is that they want and the desired goal to be achieved. Okay, that said, now you have an understanding the process of my 3E process, the evoke, embrace evolve so after that and it can take approximately 75 to 90 minutes definitely my first session is approximately 90 minutes with me so that package is a session and also an audio recording that goes with them uh, with my clients with you so you can hear it every single night why because repetition 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 when you do something over and over, over and over, what we are doing is a mindset reset. And in order for the new information, your desired outcome or the new information to sink in, you need to listen to not only repeat affirmations, which is repeating it and sinking in and seeing the affirmations come into your inbox every single day, a new affirmation that you repeat like a mantra and also the audio recording. So three things happen. My voice is with you. My messages are with you every single day. And every week 
you also get to have a, an hour and a half session with me and having a dialogue with me via email. When you email me, by all means, less than few hours, you will have a message responded by me. It's not an auto response. It is me responding to emails. Now, usually I check my emails three times a day during the day and at night I catch up with everything. Okay. That said, let me re con continue on this testimonial. I have listened to your recording that was sent and it is awesome. I should listen to it daily, correct? Yes, my dear. Yes, I've already responded to her. And it's truly an honor. When I say honor working with my clients, it is. Because everyone has a choice. You have a choice. Who to go to, where to go. And when I get to work with clients, I truly appreciate and I think it is an honor that I am the one they choose to work and for them to get the outcome that they want by not only doing the work but teaching them how to do it right and she said I wanted to reach out and say thank you last week's first session was life altering the effects lasted for days. Then once I started listening to the recording, it seemed to refresh everything. I saved it on my phone so I can play it whenever I need to tune things out and relax. I don't feel as though my plate runneth, runneth over, even though circumstances have not changed. I think my perspective has started to change and more positive attitude as well. You are truly a gift. I am grateful to know you personally and professionally. Thank you so much. And, and I'll say her first name starts with D. And um, so I thank you, D, for this testimonial. This testimonial will be on my website. And when someone sends me a testimonial, I truly appreciate it, especially when she also did a video. So. You can go to my website and see the video by Monday and you will know who it is. But right now, that's where I am. Um, so I just wanted to catch up with that and say, I am so excited to be moving to a new place, a new energy. And when I go, uh, in case you didn't know, I have for the longest time done like cleansing and clearing homes and offices like a, doing a mantra and prayer and everything when there's a new change a new office a new beginning a new child whatever and i will be doing the same thing with my office i will go in and do the cleanse and everything before the movers get there why because whatever energy was there from the people prior to i want to cleanse and cr create that energy and make it my own energy so there is a whole ritual and i will um, be filming this ritual so you may be able to see it and that's a good thing rituals are good things it's Yes, it could be said that it's another a belief system, but it's a belief system that I hold very dear. And I think it started from my grandma, but I'm a girl with traditions and belief systems. So again, I want you to know one thing. The past may keep you in the past and depressed, and it's good to think about the past but you must also move on. The present keeps you happy. It can keep you uh, aware, uh, very much conscious. And the future is when you start thinking about the future, is the futuristic, it's what you want to achieve. So realize everything in life, the evoke, embrace, evolve. We evoke it, so we bring the past forward 
to acknowledge it only, not to live in the past. We can't go back to what it is. We can't go back to what it was, even if it was an incredible love story that you had. Stop saying, I want what it was, because what it was, it's not now. And you cannot capture that essence, but you can create a better one. Make sense? Okay. So we acknowledge it. We embrace the here and now by realizing, ah, that's what it was. That's what I want. And how do I achieve it? So as a clinical hypnotherapist, the work that I do is exactly this. You have to feel good about yourself. You have to know what you want, why you want it, and together we achieve it. You know why? Because you matter. I've been saying this over and over. When you feel good about yourself, when you think better about yourself, there is nothing you cannot achieve. So that's today's message. Uh, let's see. Hi, Siddha John. How are you? It's so good to have you here. <laughs> I you know I'm all um, ready to unpacking, packing, packing. <laughs> so that's the message today. I just wanted to come live because um, I don't like to miss any of the Heal Talk Tuesdays. Uh, my new place is going to be amazing and uh, so let's focus on that energy, focus on the energy of uh, the holidays are coming up. It's going to be difficult. Next Tuesday, we'll talk about challenging times during Christmas, during Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, holidays all over. Um, and no matter where you are, celebrate you. My name is Lisa Bubari. And until next week, I wish you all the best. God bless you. Focus on the bright side. And remember, no matter where you are today, is because of your thoughts, your experiences, and the choices that you have made. It's all good. Until next week, God bless. And may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.